Looks like we're live. Hi friends. Welcome to my page. Uh, my name is Tammy Neff and you are on my page called Tammy Loves Vintage um, because as most of you know, I love everything vintage. And so I'm excited to share um, this little project with you. I've done a lot of bottles with you over the years, but um, I haven't done any in a long time. And I've had a hi Connie and I've had a couple of bottles um, that I've just wanted to make. Um, hi, Terry. I wanted to get um, these tops. When you make, when I make bottles, the top kind of sets the tone for the feeling of the bottle. Hi, Elaine. So, you know, do you want it to be really rustic and, um, you know, more masculine maybe hi joe or do you want it to be like really feminine um um oh janet well maybe i'll lull you to sleep <laughs> hi bertha <laughs> hey deb so um let's get going here you guys saw my post this morning when i was in to get glasses hi sandy uh hey julie um i, I was in uh, oh, thank you, Terry. I was in to get my glasses. Um, did they believe you at the eye doctor? <laughs> yes. You know, hey, Esmeralda, uh, you never get tired of bottle, bottle art. Okay, good, good. I'm glad. It's been a while. Hi, Charlotte. So, yes, I was at the eye doctor this morning. You love the different bottles. Oh, I love that. Um, we'll bring you a couple more ideas here, Dee Dee. Um, watching from Spokane, Washington. Hi, Rhonda. Um, Hello, Joanne. I'm going to assume that's Joanne <laughs> and not Bob. Maybe both of you. Um, anyway, I went to the eye doctor this morning for my just my regular yearly whatever. And my eyes had not changed. So he said that my prescription glasses were fine. So I told him that I hadn't had any problem with them. It's just when I'm doing these videos. Um, hi, Kimberly. And I, um, I wear, if I put my glasses on... Oh, thank you, Beth. Thank you. Um, I It's Joanne. Hi, Joanne. <laughs> I figured so. <laughs> hey, Bonnie. Um, oh, my goodness, you guys. I'm, I'm going to be a text reader today, I guess. This is so true about Abby. Oh, my glasses are dirty. <laughs> See, here we go. Um, so cool about Abby. Full circle of your daughter coming back. <laughs> I know. That's so weird. And she goes to that eye doctor when, when I mean, when she lived here. <laughs> She does have an exciting life, Joe. Uh, oh, there's Terry. She spotted Beth on here. That's awesome. So anyway, I'm in there and he's telling me everything's fine and whatever, which thank goodness, that's always good news. I don't mean to poo-poo that, but um, he said, he. well, first of all, he said, I asked him if I, if there was any way like surgery or anything to do to make my vision better. And he said, no, basically he said, no, you're just old, <laughs> but he, he didn't say that, but he kindly said when you age, I never knew this, but your eyes will dilate and open and close as when you're trying to focus on something. And he said, when you get older, the muscles in your eye just don't do that. Like they used to, they want to, but they don't hide that they want to, but they don't do what they used to do when they were young. So there you go, another thing falling apart. So <laughs> anyway, I so I told him my biggest problem was you guys. I'm trying to see what you guys are saying. And it's like, I see, um, I see a name, it might be, I can tell the K, like the capital K, but then it kind of blurs when it's all lowercase. So then I can't tell, is it is it Kimberly or Karen? You know, so I kind of have to try and guess what it is. Um, oh, Vicki, I haven't seen your order yet. I will look, I'll look for it for sure. Um, I have some new Christmas stuff, a lot of new pieces I've got to get in um, uh, the website and I'll do a video to show you guys what I got. Um, I just haven't been up to do that, so. Anyway, so the eye doctor said my my prescription glasses are like close and far, right? It, so the up close is the bifocal and then he cleaned up my distance just a little bit. But I said, I, I can't, it's, it's not right. He says, well, it's because you're too close for distance. So he was able to make me a some glasses that work like an arm's length away. He pulled this little card and it was like right here. 
um, right here. Oh, you ordered some Christmas greenery? Great. Well, I have some new stuff in as well that I hadn't gotten online yet. So, um, yeah, I, maybe I better send you a picture in case there's anything you want me to add in because um, shipping is $10 and it, that's all it is. So no matter what you put in, it's $10. So it would be, yeah, I'll do that for you. Anyway, so um, he did. He he put a card, like an extended card thing, like right here. And he helped, and, and I had to like tell him when it was good and bad and stuff. So um, yeah, so I'm excited to get these glasses. So I'm in picking out my glasses. I posted pictures for you guys. I'm literally, yeah, no problem, Vicki. I'm literally like looking at the rack of all of the glasses and, and I really wanted just hardly any, you know, and I wanted the plastic. So when I'm pushing them up on my head and back down, they're not getting caught in my hair. So I, I thought this is gonna be fast. So I'm looking at what I want. And I went over to another rack and I turned back to look at the me in the mirror, like from a distance. And I saw this thing, this card sitting on the shelf. And I looked, I thought, that's Abby. And I went over and sure as heck, it was my daughter on a, in an ad for somebody's glasses sitting there on the counter. I'm like, holy cow, that's my daughter. It's so weird. So then of course he comes in and I'm like taking pictures and send it to my husband, send it to my two daughters. So like, is this you to Abby? Is this your sister? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> I sure look like her, but you know, they make her look so different all the time. Anyway, sure enough, it was her. And the doctor comes in and he's like, everything okay in here? Do you need any help? I said, no, but you see this car? This is my daughter. This is your patient. <laughs> so like everybody in the office, we were all, oh, we were all trying to decide if it was Abby or not because I wasn't getting any answer back from anybody. And then Randy answers my husband and he says, no, it's not her. <laughs> I'm sure it was her. So then Summer answers and says, mom, that's absolutely Abby. She, uh, I know that outfit. I know her shirt. She knew her shirt. Oh, Marge, everybody say hi to Marge. She just said hello. So anyway, <laughs> um, they told me they would give me that card. And the next time when I go in to pick up my glasses, I get to have that. It'll be cute to put on the desk <laughs> to have a, a eyeglass commercial of Abby. I thought that was pretty cool. And then one of you girls commented, if you look, if you look back at that post and you look through the comments, a girl that went to school with Abby saw her in the bra department on one of her bras that she was buying and she's on that card. And so I asked her if I can share the picture with you guys, but I haven't, I think it was, was it Warner maybe? I don't know. But anyway, uh, I sent it to Abby. She loved it because she never gets to see the finished pictures. So I asked the girl if I can share it here. We'll see if she lets me or not. I think she will because she already posted it in the comments. It should be fine. But um, wasn't that crazy to see her like that? So, all right, let's get to work on a bottle here. I'm, I'm being, oh, somebody sent some stars. Thank you, somebody. I wonder who that was. I didn't, I missed it. What a great thing to miss too. That I'm so sorry. I didn't see who did that. Thank you. I'm scrolling back here to see if I can find it really quickly. I'm not seeing. Hmm. I wonder who did that. Well, I'll have to thank you in a typed comment. Somebody did for sure. So, okay, let's get going on these bottles. And then I need to forward the comments. So one of these days when my glasses come in, I might absolutely get to, um, hi, Kathy. Thanks, Linda. I might get to see you guys without like going going so close so I'm so excited um if they work if they don't work I'm out of luck I give up I'm just gonna be struggling to see so all right let's start with this bottle I sort of have an idea where I wanted to go um it's just a uh, see what it says I told him I have glasses all over the house he's like yep that's normal <laughs> um I can't hardly make it out but there's some writing it says the singer Manic, the singer Manic Company. Mm. I can't quite read it. I can't quite read it, but there is a logo or a, a logo there. It'll be backwards for you guys, but see, you can see it. That's about how it looks for me. <laughs> so, all right. So what I thought, I had this little hunk of lace. Okay, let's back up. So, so first thing I do 
is I find things that I think are gonna make really great tops. And I found this, um, it's a hose, a water a hose uh, valve off of someone's hose. Um, could be in the Singer Machine Company. Yes, it might be Singer Sewing Machine, I'm thinking, but that's not what it said. It just says the Singer, oh, it might be M-A, and it looks like M A N I C dot C O. Man, man, oh yeah, whatever. You guys, there you go. <laughs> it probably is. Um, anyway, so I found this hose nozzle, and I thought it was really cool. It's very heavy. It's brass. It actually turns, um, and I thought it would be a great bottle topper, a unique bottle topper. So you use E6000 or whatever, you know, whatever um, glue you prefer for glass and metal. And then I just wrapped some seam binding. I just shredded some seam binding, or no, I'm sorry, no, I didn't. It's um, not seam binding, it is uh, muslin. I shredded some muslin and wrapped it so you get all of the different like fuzzy stringy things, okay? So I did that just to cover where the bottle joins the top, okay? So now I have my um, look here and really I could be done. I could just call it done and some of you, you know, have done that, I'm sure. Um, I could take a piece of lace. I'm not sure this one would be a good one, but yeah, and I could totally just wad it up like that um, oh, let me put you down a little bit more here. Um, I could, oh, I can't tell who's saying that. Claire, it looks, oh, it's Diane. Di oh, Diane, hello. <laughs> See, oh, I can't wait till my glasses come. Um, so this is super cute too, just a little, section of it and then it still allows you to be able to see the label like wherever you put it and then you would put something really cute up there um what do i have like i have a little a little copper badge um would be a cute thing that you could let me get it out of here but i've just been digging i brought my drawer in here with all of my stuff in it see i have a drawer full of um jewelry it's all vintage stuff so that's, so yeah, I've kind of been digging through the drawer <laughs> to see what I had. So I did find this, but I found, I don't know, I, I may not use this. Um, oh, mm. Canfield 60, it says. Canfield 60, and then there's a bunch of little tiny writing. I'm not, there's no way I can figure that out. Um, but I thought that looked really good with it. Uh, although this is copper and that's brass, I don't know, and, and that doesn't bother me so much. But I also found this lock, it's pad, old, old padlock, which really had the same look. So I'm thinking about dangling that off of it. Uh-oh, I see a bunch of words. Let's see who's saying something. Terry Crawford, take a piece of paper and lay over the print on the bottle. Take a pencil lightly and shade over the side of the bottle and it will show the printing on the bottle. Oh, good idea. I can totally, I know exactly what you're saying. Thank you, Maria. Gee whiz, she likes it and I haven't even got it going yet. Hey, Nancy. Okay, so here we go. Let's keep going. <laughs> I told him I gotta pull it so close, it's embarrassing. Oh my gosh, there's more words. Okay, um, Singer Manufacturing Company for Singer Manufacturing Company. Yes, probably, you're probably right. It just looks like, what did I say, magic or manic or something? I don't know. Um, okay, so let's go with this I liked this around here and I forgot to grab a button I don't know if I have a button in there but um so I kind of like this loose that you would be able to still look and see if you wanted uh I could turn it maybe I'll turn it to the corner like that but I'm not gonna well maybe I'll bench it up just a little bit let's try just the front here I'm gonna put some glue on there and it's, I did generously glue it there. And let's just pleat it just a little bit here before I stick it into the glue. I just wanna do a little bit of kind of ruching, I guess, you know, just kind of scrunching a little bit, a little bit of gathers. Instead of just laying it perfectly straight. Okay, here's some more. So let's lay it on the side, do a little pinchy pinch. 
and I may just, yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave the back. I'm gonna smoosh it up, <laughs> shroosh it up here to where it doesn't go on around, okay? And I'm sure I'm missing somebody there. Okay, there we go. Now I don't need any buttons. So what I'm saying is I left the back open like that, okay? And then there's the front and it's got a nice little, sort of a skirty look to it, I guess. Um, okay, then, and the, and the pleat just made it a little bit more interesting. Then I wanna cover up that line because it doesn't look finished. So I have this, but I think it's too thick. And I kind of, let me see here. Yeah, it's, it would be fine. If it's all you have, see, it would be perfectly fine. It lays really cute, but I like the rough, like not the roughness, but the texture and the stringiness of that. So let's see, here is a kind of a whitish one so that the color is a little different. This one looks stained to match. So I'm gonna go with the, oh wait, 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 wait. I did lay this out. It was on another project that I tore up um, and it's an advertising tape measure. Um, this says no charge for credit. Let me see what that looks like to finish it off. I thought that was kind of cool. And then just have the words showing. You really wouldn't even know what it says so much. But I think I'm going to do that. You're loving the bottle. Thank you, Deborah. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Um, oh, and Beth put something there. Uh, you love the bottles. I, the toppers make them. Uh, wait till you see the next one I'm going to show you. The toppers make them. Oh, okay. So you guys know how I... Randy made me these little stands. A lot of you got them when I sold them when I quit doing classes. Well, I got smart and I put a screw on the back of this and I hang a little tiny pair of scissors from the Dollar Tree. And I also hung on the side, put a screw on the side and I hang my little dryer. It has been the best idea because here we are ready to do this video and I have no scissors. So I don't have to get up. I don't have to get up and leave you guys and run for scissors. I have them hanging right here. Now I have to say the screw head isn't exactly right for these scissors, so I probably need to change it out, but it's fine, it works. So yay, look at that. It's your lucky day. If yours are mine, right? Okay, so, so I'm gonna hold it way low here, just like that, and I'm going to, yep. Oh, I got a little bit more than what I need, it looks like. So I'm gonna cut it right at the end of the words. I don't need all that overlap. These are the perfect scissors too for this project. Awesome, yay. That was just a lucky thing. All right, then just to cover up this little, I mean, you could you could wrap stringing, uh, you could wrap uh, anything, yarn, twine, whatever you have. Um, I just happen to have this little tiny tape measure, so I thought it would be really cute. Let's see here, I wanna get, do I, what part of this word? I covered up a little bit. So I'll cover up the last, I'll cover up a little bit of the word credit. Okay, so I'm just gonna wrap this on around and tack it down. But I'm trying to hold it at the very bottom, right where I put the little skirt on, okay? All right. And then we're gonna wrap this one like that, and then we'll tack this down like that. Okay, you love the stand? Sandy, I know, I know. Randy, uh, I saw him on Pinterest years and years ago. And Randy made me one, um, and then it was working so well. When I started having the craft classes, he made me like like 20 some, and it worked out great. I sold them in my shop. It was just really good. It's just it's just a couple pieces of wood with a tile. That's just a piece of tile. So. Um, okay, so gosh, I could totally be done. Like, I think it's just great. You can zoom in on the words there. It says, what did I say? No charge for credit. Okay, and then I do, I've got a key here that I could hang on. Oh, actually, and it's such a pretty key. You know how pretty some keys can be? Can you see? I can't, my finger's in the way. Yeah, look how pretty that is. It's, it, I'm not sure it's, um, 
yeah, it's just really pretty. It's not just an ugly tractor key, you know, it's a pretty one. Uh, it says R and F Corbin, New Britain, Connecticut. And I mean, it's even pretty on the back. It just has a little bit of scrolling. Um, okay, so let's use that. And what I think, oh, how did I find the end that easily? I don't know. So I made a wall, I'll show you what I'm using here. I've got seam binding. You guys know I always share the links for my seam binding. Um, it's just a really thin ribbon. Um, you can get it on Amazon um, and it is, this is the, the size of it. It's transparent almost. It's so thin, very satin. It's a vintage seam binding. And what I love about it is it's beautiful right off the roll, real, it's got like a lot of movement and you know, it's just really pretty. But I like to wad it up like this. I like to stain it with tea. I use tea bags to stain this out. So I love that look. Um, so there's that. Now let's see here. I don't really have a plan. I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna, I'm just winging it here. Sometimes when you do these videos, you have a plan. I have somewhat of a plan, but I don't have an exact plan. So we'll wing it together. <laughs> love my bottle. Oh, thank you, Vonnie. I do put a lot of love in my little bottles. I'm glad, I'm glad you guys love them. Thank you me feel good. I mean, I put love in them from schlepping the antique shows, finding the perfect tops to fit the perfect bottles, and then all of the little details like this. So what I did here, oh, these little scissors are great for a buck. You can't beat it. Um, all right. So, so what I did was just took a little snippet of seam binding. If Beth is still on here, she may be able to post the link for you guys. Um, and let me tell you, when someone says affiliate link, it's an affiliate link, but what that means is that you get a little commission. So if, if let's say the roll is $15, I might make 25 cents is probably maybe what it would be. But you also need to know that it still costs you $15. It doesn't cost you $15 and 25 cents. It's the same price. So anybody that gives you an affiliate link, it just helps them be worth the trouble of going to look it up, find the link, give it to you. Now, for some reason, I don't think I'm connected very well because I haven't, I know I've shared a ton of links and I've made zero. Every month my report comes back zero. You always have the most interesting. Oh, thank you. So yeah, trust me, I'm not getting rich on you, I promise but it is a helpful way for you guys to shop um, for sure. So, okay, I have this cute little, now the key is even cuter and I just have to decide, like I may just put it down here, but let's see what happens because I need to, um, ah, Ginger, thank you. It's been a long time since I've made some bottles with you guys. I've made them just kind of hanging around at home. Um, yeah, sometimes it's just such a pain to, try and see what you're saying. And I feel like it's just, you guys are annoyed. It's annoying to me that I can't see sometimes. So, all right, let's, now I don't wanna cover up. Here's another good reason why the seam binding, because it's so thin and small and, and not uh, stiff, um, you can kind of push it down and almost make it like a string. And so uh, I am gonna use this to tie it on. So let's give myself, plenty and I need to get the price of this off. I try to keep all my prices on the bottles and the tops and the and the things. So these are my prices for this one. Okay and this is the front of the lock. So I'm going to drop that here. Oh I might have wished I would have made it maybe a little bit longer. So let's tie it on the back here. I'm gonna have to flip it around. No you guys can't see that anyway. Let me Turn this around just a little bit. I want to see how low I want it to dangle. If I want it about like that, I suppose it'd be good. All right, so let's, instead, I was going to wrap it around and tie the bow up front, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. So let's just tie one back here and leave the little, and I'm not going to glue that down. So if someone gets this bottle and wants to take it all apart and have these things, it'll be easy. So there's my little tie in the back. So see why that didn't matter that I didn't wrap it? I knew I was gonna do something back there anyway, but I wanna have something pretty here on the front as well. So let's do, uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna whack a piece here. 
I'm gonna cut that in half. Okay. And then I'm gonna stick this in here. Ah, I'm gonna stick both pieces in there. And I'm just gonna tie another bow, nothing fancy. Um, the kind of the crinkling and the way that I've wadded this up, and I know you guys know I, I've shared it so much here, but I just get it wet. I just do the, I get it wet in the tea, like when you, you know how you steep tea? Um, nothing interesting. Get it off you. Don't like this craft. Oh, oh, somebody's, are they being mean or is that nice? I don't know. I can't. She doesn't like my craft. That's okay. You don't have to. I'm sure it wasn't that. Do we have a we have a hater on here? <laughs> I better not look up. Oh, but I'm so curious. If you don't like it. Oh yeah, I do have a hater on here, don't I, Ginger? <laughs> okay. Well, she must not like vintage treasures. Um, okay, so. Just ignore, it's fine. She doesn't, she won't stay. Yes, she's being rude, okay. <laughs> oh well. All right, so um, I just let me tie my bow here. Go away, Oh, you guys. I might have to get off before I do my other one, huh? That's a shame. I don't know why they stay if they don't like it. There's so many things to watch. Hi, Tambra. Hello. Okay, I'm, I'm struggling here to tie this bow. Okay, so I have a little bow. I don't want it to take away from the lock. So I'm going to um, just snip it down a little bit here. And then we have our little lock with another ribbon, okay? And then I have this little key. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna tack it right to the skirt on the corner. So, okay. So let's do this. I, yeah, I was thinking I had a mean one. <laughs> oh, it's always a risk when you go live, right? It's always a risk. Okay, so let me just hold this down so it can kind of tack to the bottle. Uh, are you wanting to? Oh, nope, but that's okay because it's sticking to this, but I need to hold it for just a jiffy here. Ooh, that'll make her really mad if I sit here and hold. You love it? Oh, thank you, Terry Reno. They will go away. Okay, don't stop. Okay, all right, I'll keep going. You guys just take care of that because I'm busy. <laughs> I can't see. Someone needs to hug. Oh, her name is Joyce. Aw. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. Let's see here. There we go. So there you go. Um, don't let her ruin it for the rest of us. Okay, all right, I'm not gonna even gonna look, you guys. I'm just gonna keep going. So, all right, so here we go. You have a little bit of wording showing there at the top. Let's see, I could probably pull this down just a bit. And um, that wasn't very nice. Oh gosh, there you go. <laughs> And there you go. So it's just really different. I get it that it's not for everyone. You really have to have a love for uh, vintage items and like just to think if this was a keepsake like out in your grandpa's garage and you were able to save it and make something pretty instead of throwing it in the trash or sending it off to auction, you're able to make something pretty, maybe a gift for your sister for Christmas and say this was grandpa's whatever. You know, I think that's the whole point of my videos and what I always try to bring is, is ideas to save treasures. But if you're into modern and just not into that kind of thing. Of course, this would definitely not be for you. So there you go. This is the first bottle that's finished, okay? And then I have one more if you all wanna stick it out here. Sound like there's a few of you that do. Um, so again, you pick your top. This time I have a little, oh, let me take her tag off. I'll put it over here. So this time I have this lady, okay? She is a, uh, a brush, the top of a brush, a dresser brush, but she was broken off. The bristles of the brush were gone, so the person sold the top. Now, I can't really decide. I felt like it was Christmassy, 
see and it's got like the pom-pom of her like christmas hat but yet she's she's got a fan like it's hot outside so i thought i'm not sure i can understand exactly what's happening here with this girl um but i just thought there was something very pretty about it so i think it could work in you know like with with christmas decor or we just leave it as a very pretty lady that would sit out you know with the other ladies so i loved this bottle brush top so i saved it out of a box of junk and I adhered it to an old bottle. I think this looks like an old, like vinegar type bottle. See, it's just, it's not really an old, old bottle, but it is, it was a used bottle of some sort. And I did pick it up at a, at a show, but it was just a pretty bottle. Okay. Um, what is it again? What is what this, this, the lady is, it was a dresser brush when the ladies used to do the big powder puffs and it would have powder all over everywhere. And then it would have these little brushes that would brush off their, uh, their dresser. Uh, or sometimes the brushes, they didn't look quite like this. They had an actual handle and they were just a small brush and it was like a crumb brush. So, um, maybe feathers on her hat. Let me give you a close up. Could be, could be, but I'm not sure what the little ball is there i don't know i don't know but i thought it just she has such a winter feel see i don't know so anyway there was something about her that i liked um i don't know so i added so i i adhered her with e6000 okay so i don't the thing is when i do the tops while i'm with you guys they're so e6000 takes a while you know a day to grab and so a lot of people will use hot glue and e6000 i just do straight up e6000 then i kind of secured her with muslin shreds and wrapped all around okay and then it was a little too rustic i felt the muslin shreds for how pretty she was so i made a big wad of seam binding again the seam binding is awesome beth if that might be what you were talking about to look for hug snug seam binding um what is the name and brand of the dusting brush um i have a brush oh, do i i might have a brush i know i have a couple powder uh there's not really a brand it's it's a dresser doll brush um you may be able to find them on etsy but just look up dresser dresser doll brush and you may be able to find it if i remember when i'm done or if you guys remember message me when i'm all done and we can go look in my cabinet and see if i still have one i may have sold them all um there may be one um there may be one on my website I think she has pink bristles there might be one on my website for you okay but it has the brush it has the whole brush this was just the top you know my friend Julie loves to collect doll head tops uh, doll heads all sizes and things and like the porcelain ones and she has done some bottles with those uh, German or Japan yes yeah I was gonna say Japan but you're right the nicer ones are German the brush you use to dust your house oh that brush I tried looking for it and I can't find it. It was like $45. Um, and I can't remember what it is, but well, I, I went through my past orders and I couldn't find it. And I thought I got it off of Amazon, but I may have got it off of someone's website. So it's going to take me a minute to find that. But yeah, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Is she for sale? Who? This one? Yeah, she will be when I'm all done, if that's what you mean. So, okay. So let's keep going here. I have this I have this piece of lace. I thought it was really awesome. When I do the bottles, I like the thinner lace. Um, the heavier lace, like the doily lace, is just, uh, I don't know, it's just a lot. Now this, like, this piece of lace was $8. There's the tag. It was $8 for this piece of lace. So when you guys buy my lace bundles for $25, I give you a ton of lace, right? Let me get this off without ripping. Um, just to give you an idea. So you get a ton of lace for the price. Um, and it's getting harder and harder to find for sure. I kind of wish I wouldn't have tied this on there right now, but I um, I was trying to get a feel for it to see if it was even how I wanted it to go. And I wasn't gonna do it on here. And then I thought, oh, I need to do it with you guys because I haven't done very many projects. So let me just see if I can tie this up and hold it. Is our mean girl gone? She must be gone. Or maybe we've swayed her. Maybe she. 
Maybe she changed her mind. Who knows? Okay. All right, so let me see if I can figure out the front and the back. I'm gonna say that that's the front. Yeah, that's definitely the front. Okay, so again, I wanna do some pleating, I guess, or scrunching or gathering. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna do about an inch across the front. Oh, can you guys really see? There you go. And I'm gonna try and find the center here and I'm gonna fold it down to where it doesn't drag. Okay, so right about there. And then I'm gonna give it a little pinchy pinch. Okay, just a little bit of gathering here because I got a lot. I probably could get two out of one. Okay, so on your side you go, little lady. Okay, get this bow out of the way. But yeah, it's, it's hard to do a bottle without putting the top on it because like I said, the top for me kind of sets the tone for the bottle. And if I, if I don't put the top on, then I, I just don't get a real feel for the bottle, a real read for it. And, the, and when you're creating the bottle, you kind of need to know what, what's what. Okay, which side's bigger? That side's bigger, so let's go this way. Maybe I can save a little snippet of this. So let me roll this down. So it's all about the same. And then let me do some pinching here. Pinching, pinching. Yeah, the thing is, when you're making things like this, I can't really give you links and send you to Hobby Lobby and stuff like that. The best thing I can tell you to do is pick up one of our antique boxes. We have antique uh, craft and collectible boxes and we put things in it that for you guys to craft with. And that might be the best way for you to get some little treasures to make things with. It's on my website. Uh, oh, oh boy, I got a string of something in my eye. Feel it. Oh, oh, there, I got it. Uh, <laughs> it's <fine. laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, okay. So let me see here. She is going to have to come around. It's got a seam back here. Let me show you. It's got a little seam. See this? Um, it's like a finished edge. So I need to make that look right. So what I may do here is just wrap that and tack it just a little bit. Let's just tack right in the middle of this flower and see if I can't overlay that onto there. Yeah, okay, so here's what I did. Okay, I just, whoop, let me, got a little bit of a pucker there, let me pull that down. There you go. So I pulled it down. So now I think we're, I think we're good. That's just the way the lace laid. But there's the front, so let me untire. Sorry, lady. <laughs> entire there we go now let's see what we have here okay let's see what we got to work with all right there we go so she has sort of a little skirt now and it's everything here is vintage um oh i'm on for the yes yes <laughs> yes roseanne before the braves game brushing the crumbs off the table yes that's what that was for um, but I think the dresser dolls were for their dressing tables. Um, oh, thank you, Brenda. So, okay, I have her to here. Then I found this sweet little locket. Get the price tag off of here. I know you're gonna be curious. So it was $8, okay. So I have now this little locket. Let's see if anybody's in there. I Oh, on the back it says love forever. No, there's nobody in here, but it says love forever. It'll be backwards for you to see, but I think you can still see. It's in cursive writing. It's very pretty, love forever. So let me see if I can shove a seam binding in this tiny, tiny little loop here. Hmm. Use my scissor, tip of my scissor maybe. We'll shove that through, whoops. I have to twirl it around and 
get it going. But now I think I had some tweezers, those darn fingernails. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> okay, without cutting it, can I? Yay, I did it. I did it. Yay. <laughs> okay, so let's give ourselves plenty. I can always cut, um, cut it back again. But yeah, I think that's gonna be adorable. Putting that little locket on there is just gonna send it over the top. So, okay, I don't need that much. All I'm gonna do is dress up the little hook so that it's not plain. I could have attached it and put a little, you know, a little bling there, a little uh, diamond or something like that, just a little piece of an earring or whatever. But I think I'm just gonna Keep it simple here. I could have tied it and dangled it, but I think I'm going to stuff it right up in here into the bow. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the knot on the seam binding, okay, you guys? Not on the locket. So again, if you wanna take it apart, you would be able to do that and use the treasures for something else. Someday you'd just be able to snip it right off of there. Okay, so, oh, it's adorable, look. How pretty is that? I got it, I finally got it, there you go. So, okay, I think that's all, I, what else did I have? Oh, I had this little, I was thinking about attaching it with, the, with this chain thing, but I don't think it needs it. I like it just like that. I might need to snip off just a couple of little bits here. Okay, okay, so there you go. You love it, Shayla. Oh, okay. All right. And then here is this one. So again, you guys, just get into your, sorry, my husband just called, get into your uh, old stuff, get into grandpa's uh, toolbox and grandma's sewing box and jewelry boxes and see what you guys can find. But here are a couple of bottle ideas. Um, I may, well, no, I don't think I'm going to. Sometimes when these are open, I'll put a button or something on it, but that kind of has a little pretty, almost lacy sort of look to it. Um, it's, it's definitely industrial, but I don't mind the original um, look to that opening. So I don't think I'm gonna stick anything on there. So I'm glad you guys like it. Maybe she has the fan if she gets if she gets a case of vapors, is that what you said? Yeah, vapors. Maybe, maybe, maybe she, she gets hot flashes, right? With that hot hat on, <laughs> she could fan herself down. So, okay, you guys, I remembered to take you and show you. Let's see if I have a dresser doll to show you how they're supposed to be. You have an idea um, about some old family. Oh, I love that. Um, you know, I've been invited to do some estate, go through some estate, you know, family things or whatever, and maybe with a sister or a daughter, and they can make something for a family member. I'm looking for my dresser brush. Do I please have one in here? I might have sold them all. Well, you don't need to look at me. Let's look at that. Uh, I'm not seeing a dresser doll in here. Darn it. I've got a couple pin cushions. So like you might be able to find this doll head topper if she's actually a pin cushion. Here's another pin cushion, which is a another glass porcelain doll. Let's see if it says, oh, I might've covered it. Or I mean, I didn't cover it. This was all original. Let's just see if it says Japan on there. No, I don't see it saying anything. I, got, I don't know where I got that black from. Let's see if we can read what she says. Uh, I can't tell. Okay. So I love both of those. I especially love her because she's blonde and this one's more gray haired, but I love this too. This was an old powder puff. Let's see if it says, usually on the back, it will say where it's from, but it doesn't say, but anyway, it's a powder puff. It's an old powder puff. So I love that. And then I haven't shown you guys like my perfumes, let me show you her. She's my very favorite. Okay, I'm gonna be real careful. There we go. She's got the original dauber, you guys. <laughs> like, so again, you could find a, a dresser doll like her where maybe the bottle and the dauber was broken off 
And so, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm holding it. It's not very good. Uh, but there you go. So that was another treasure. And let's see if she says Japan or Germany. Um, no, I probably have my price on the bottom here. Oh, it's 323. I can't tell, but sometimes on the bottom, I saw she was numbered. But yeah, sometimes you can find it that way. Okay, let's see. Uh, do we have any other ladies in here? I think that's all my ladies. Um, I can show you some more though. I have them in, I have them put away right now. Beth found this. I've never seen this before. Um, she was out shopping and found this little, oh, I don't know if I can do it with one hand. Oh, well, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a second here. It's coming. Okay. It is a hand painted little perfume carrier and then the perfume bottle was inside. So I thought that was really unusual. I'd never seen it. And this is by Limoges even. Um, so I thought that was awesome. So I put that in my uh, little cabinet as well. So come here now. Come here. <laughs> come with me. Come here a minute. Let <laughs> me show you something else. Okay. I know you're going to be like, I can't believe you have those put away. But I don't really have a good place to put. Uh, and I don't know what drawer they're in. Let me see. I know they're in one of the. There we go. Okay. So I have this collection of dresser dolls and you can find them sometimes on eBay or um, Etsy and they're like 85, 65 to 85. Yeah, this one was 65 and she doesn't have a dauber. Um, I don't think any of these have a dauber. Here's another one. Now these are all German for sure. Um, yeah, see it says Germany. Doesn't it say that? I don't have my glasses. I have to put my glasses off. Uh, what does that say? Yeah, Germany. Uh, yeah, it says Germany as well. So there's those two little ladies. And then I have this one. And they all have, there you go. They all have, see, I have more. <laughs> so here, oops, 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 see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the pink one. Hang on, there you go. There's the pink one. And I have a blue one. So, uh, what does that say? It doesn't, I don't think it says. Let's see what this one says, Germany. The blue one is Germany. Uh, this yellow one is Germany. They're all German, little German perfume bottles, okay? So they're all little German perfume bottles. And then with the perfumes, they have little, what they call trinket jars. All right, so let me show you a trinket jar. <laughs> I have them down in my little cabinet here in the little drawers. I didn't know, I don't wanna spill it here. Hang on a minute. All right, let's come over here. So we have these little trinket jars. I move my stuff around all the time. Again, a little Germany set. So they would put their little rings or whatever down in here. Okay, so there is like that. And I don't have, I used to have the bottles. I've sold a lot of these things, but um, well, I don't know. They may go together. They just might be faded out or something. Um, here's the purple. And so they had like purple with, uh, the purple one would have with black hair or they would have a purple one with gray hair. Uh, here's, here's the doll the perfume doll that matches. So see how they would be a set? So I don't really have all of the pieces of the set anymore. I had over the years, I've had people wanna buy some, whatever. So then there's her, the blonde, and I have her set over there. So see how they all, uh, oh, you like the little dog? Oh, I didn't know you could see my little dog. It is you guys, it's so funny. <laughs> this little fella, he's adorable. My mom wants him so bad. I won't let her have him because I love him too. But he's made out of clay. Somebody handmade him and they signed it. Isn't that awesome? I love him. And look how tiny. Can you tell from, I mean, look how tiny he is. So I love him. I found him at an antique show and I loved him. So, okay, do I have any more? I think that might be all that I have. This is all like my... Yeah, but then I have remotes and keys. And then that's it. Everything, all these other drawers are empty as far as I know. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, they're all empty. <laughs> so, so, okay. Um, all right. So there you go. 
I did not have any dresser brushes to show you unless it's upstairs uh, in the website pile or website shelving. I have lots of shelves up there. Uh, let me see. And someone said they placed an order here just a minute ago. So maybe I come up here and show you that, but I don't, I don't have it priced yet. Let me see if I have a dresser doll up here just real fast that I can find. I'll flip you around so you can see <laughs> what I'm looking through here. I did have one. Is she over here? No. Uh, okay. So I'm just making everybody dizzy now. I know I have one. She might be one of these, but all of this stuff is on my website. Um, hmm. I don't see her. I may have sold her, you guys. I totally may have, uh, I totally may have sold her. The only other place she could be is in that basket right here because I don't see her in this box. And these are all things, again, <laughs> that are on the website you can buy individually to do things with or I have boxes made up. Let me see if I... She could be down in here possibly, but I doubt it. Well, shoot. I don't see her. Okay. I might not have her anymore. Well, if she's on the website, don't buy her because I don't know where she's at. <laughs> I'll find her, I'm sure. I'll find her. Uh, yes, I am an antique store. Let me see. I'm in my hallway upstairs. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, and I haven't made my bed since Abby was here. I washed all the sheets and stuff, but I haven't made the bed. So, okay. So, this is what's going to be coming on the website. Not a lot, but I. you guys always love the hops. So, I have sparkled... Um, Glittered Hops. It's the same name as my page.com. So it's TammyLovesVintage.com and it's T-A-M-I. So I have the glittery hops and I got them in picks because I, I'd love being able to stick them in, but they also have lots of sections that we can cut out and use. So I bought three boxes of the glittered, three boxes of the glittered hops. And then I bought, these are kind of every day, but you had a big red bow on this. Um, and it would be beautiful. Then I got a bunch of these. I thought these would be so pretty on our old breadboards um, or anything. I mean, it would be great on your table, but they need fluffed. You know, when you get stuff, it needs, it needs, you know, fluffed and brought to life. And then I got these, which I think these could stay out all year, but these are like fern. Um, I think they're called Christmas ferns. But I think they could be all year. And they've got tiny little pine cones, which would be awesome, like, even in the fall. You may want to do, like, you could probably bring them out, I would say, like, September through March. And then you'd want to do your flower, uh, you know, your flowery things. So I bought two boxes of those. And then let me show you these. I bought these containers. And I think they're going to be awesome. So I have this one. Okay, let me see here. So if we did like that, I don't know. I haven't played with any of this stuff yet with the hops in it. Uh, ah. I think that could be really cute. I think I think we'd have to add something. I'll have to play with it. And then there's this one. I just love the vintage vibe of these. They are not old they're just made to look old so this is all more all of this is more stuff for the <laughs> website <laughs> so there you go um but yeah so there is this container as well so um i only got oh did i get two, one two yeah i've got two of each of these so those will be going on the website here really soon i would say like within the week um and then the oh and then i got these too these and I don't even know what the container looks like, but I got these two. They're like cypress trees. I got four of them. They are awesome. So okay. So anyway, um, you love the red. I know they're all they're all really really good. So I haven't made the <laughs> I haven't made Abby's bed. Uh, I did the linens. I washed them. I washed the towels, and then I just threw them in there. I thought I'll make it some other day. It's too sad. <laughs> it's too sad. I'm sorry. It's so dark. Oh my gosh, what, I'm such an idiot. Okay, boy, if that hater's still on here, she's really having a lot of 
fuel the fire with, right? So, okay. Okay, so hi, everybody. Okay, there you go. I think that's everything I... You never know where my videos are going to go, right? Sometimes, sometimes they start in one room and they end up completely opposite. So, all right, let's see if there were any questions. That's all I have for you guys. Um, love the red bucket. Can it be neat with me? Yes, Kathy, that's what I thought. They'll be great Christmas tree holders. Thank you, Sandy. There's some already some beautiful uh, Christmas stuff online, but this shipment just came in. Hi, Barb. Welcome from Nebraska. Uh, you, Sandy, you would have fun. I know, I enjoy looking through my stuff. My website, though, is TammyLovesVintage.com. Um, let's see, and it is an antique store for sure. Uh, you know, but but for a true antique person, I'm not, a, I'm not antique-y because I do things like this. Like I alter them and, and then so it kind of maybe takes away from the antique value. But for me, I've taken three pieces that were just laying in the bottom of a, bucket you know with grease and made something very pretty out of it i i think so um it's just every everyone is really different um in their in what they love so but yeah a true antique store would look at that probably as a craft item where i you know i don't know uh thank you for taking your time you're welcome ginger i'm glad you enjoyed it uh let mom have him you will get him back one day, loan him. Oh, you're talking about the dog. You know what? You're right. I need to do that. I need to do that. Maybe I'll wrap him up for Christmas. You love the little dog. <laughs> she does too. But she's a cat person. I don't know why she likes my dog. She's a cat person. I'm the dog person. <laughs> so I guess if it was a cat, it would be hers, no doubt. But she doesn't, she's not a dog person. I got glue on my fingers. Um, thank you, Vonnie. Thank you. I, you know, I think my kids like... Uh, certain things you know there's certain things like Abby really wants the cabinet with all of the drawers someday she says she wants where is it where the heck is it right there that cabinet with all of the drawers and Summer wants my Clara bow um transfer and that's really all they've really claimed <laughs> of all of this so there'll be a heck of a sale someday right um you love the bottle and nozzle thank you Teresa Thank you guys. Okay, you're late to the party. Jamie, I think you made it just fine. Um, thank you guys. Thank you for liking all of this. Uh, I'll see if I can put a link here for the seam binding. Um, she's pretty. Thank you guys. Thank you, Julie. Uh, somebody else said that. Sandy, thank you. Thank you, Julie. Okay, um, creation with the lady head. Not your style. No, Dee Dee, it wouldn't be your style at all. This other one though, this one would be more your, more your thing, right? And then the lady would be a little more sweet. She's more Victorian feminine. Um, you're welcome, Kathy. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Debbie. Okay, thank you, Terry. Uh, thanks, Ginger. Thanks, Kathy. Okay, you guys, I think that's it. Thank you, Brenda. Um, <laughs> before the Braves game. Um, is that it? You went to Goodwill and bought the dust ruffle with the eyelet ruffle. So I'm going to cut the ruffle off to craft with. Awesome. Awesome, Brenda. Yes, that's exactly what I do all the time. It'll make a great pumpkin for next year. It'll be great. Um, yes, Shayla. We'll, I'll talk to you about her. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to stop for now. I, that's, that's good. I need to get this cleaned up. Um, Linda wants it all. You guys are funny. She's more Shayla. Uh, what do you mean? She's more have tins for the poinsettias. Thank you. You're welcome, Brenda. Uh, thank you. Yes, uh, Jackie, I do have, thank you, Vicki. I do have stuff on my website, uh, TammyLovesVintage.com. Thank you, Debbie. So, okay, you're welcome, Linda. Thanks for watching. Uh, the website, TammyLovesVintage.com. It's T-A-M-I. It's the name on the... Um, of my page.com so it will always be easy for you guys to find so okay i think that's it you guys have a great night thanks for watching um i'm 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 glad i shared this with you guys it's fun little um fun little time with you and uh yeah i enjoyed it as much as most of you did <laughs> i can't say all of you but most of you so all right we'll talk to you later i need to go look for her order and um send her some pictures of the new stuff and figure the prices and, and, and clean up and all that. So you guys have a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.